Hey, good morning everyone. I had one of the worst nights. I had done everything right. I didn't eat anything late. I had clean sheets on my bed. I didn't have any coffee or anything like that. But for some reason, I tossed and turned. I got up several times, tried to go back in there and go to sleep. So finally around four o'clock, I got to sleep, I think. But anyway, I'm up early this morning and I've decided I need an omelet. I found a little gadget several years ago and I absolutely love it. I have used it a thousand times. Now, I have found this online. I went and looked for it just in case one of y'all wanted to see it. And I'm sure a lot of you already know what it is and maybe you have it. But I see that Walmart has the exact same brand I have for under $7. Here it is. It's an omelet maker. It's the easiest way to make an omelet that I've ever found. But the only problem, it has a lot of steps but the results are definitely worth it because it's great so let me show you what we're gonna do now remember it's got a lot of steps to it I'll do my best to hurry it along at least I got things chopped up so in this bowl I have put three eggs and I've got my notes here because I don't want to leave something out and I've whipped them now I'm gonna take two half tablespoons of butter and put them in each half of the omelet maker just like that now you're going to place it in the oven for I mean in the microwave excuse me for 25 seconds we don't plastic melt in the oven all right I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do 25 seconds This is so easy to do, and it's so good, and you can add all kinds of things to it, whatever you feel like adding to it, whatever you like in your omelet. Let's see how easy it is. 25 seconds. Come on, microwave. There we go. Definitely have to have a microwave, because you're going to use it quite a bit. I'm going to spread this one around a little bit. Come on, Bella. Yeah, there we go. All right. Got that in there. Okay, now we're going to pour one half of the egg mixture into each side so one half of it now it doesn't have to be exact just eyeball it you can figure out what is half and half more in that one and a little more in that one okay we're going to cook it open just like this opened up and we're going to cook it for 30 seconds. No, one minute. See, that's what I mean. i got to have my instructions with me. It's not hard to do. It's just hard for me to remember. So one minute on high. Like I said, that's the only thing I don't like about it. It's got all these little steps to it. But, but it's good. You'll see. And I think you'll like it. I know, like I said, it's been around a long, long time. Probably some of y'all already have it. And they have lots of different brands too. This is just the one that I had. In fact, I have two of these and I think they're both the same brand. They're not expensive at all. And then 
they're a lot easier than doing an omelet in the skillet. So, waiting on the microwave to come out. I hope y'all are having a good day today. What kind of plans do you have today? Going anywhere? Having anybody over? There it is. Now notice that it's not cooked on the inside. So what you want to do is push push all the the uh, egg that's not cooked to the outside. It's okay that you make little cuts in it. It'll be fine. Now the egg is on the outside. Now, let's see what it says. Cook this for 30 seconds. Here we go. Like I told you, we go back and forth to the microwave. 30 seconds. almost to the home plate. I like this part. Oh yeah. Now I've already chopped up all my fillings that I'm going to put in it. Because y'all all know how to grate cheese, how to cut a pan. Y'all all know that. Now we're waiting. We've got 30 seconds. There it is. Okay, now it looks like this. We're going to add our filling. So I had some ham yesterday for my um, egg cups. So I have some left over. I'm going to put it in here. Now you want to fill only one side of this, not both. Now I'm going to put jalapenos on mine. I know some of y'all don't like that. That's okay. Doesn't have to have it. In fact, it can have any filling you want. You can put onions on it if you want. Okay, now cheese. Lots of cheese. Now, okay. We're going to close it. Just flip it over. We want to go one more minute in the microwave. We're getting there. Have patience. I'm still saying this is a lot easier and less messy than doing it in a skillet on the stove. Although there are steps, it's worth it. It's really so good. One minute. That's all we have to go. By the way, Mrs. Key is still on the floor. She's doing good. She's laying by the door right now. She hasn't attacked me this morning. <laughs> She's been a good girl. And we'll see how that goes. She, I can't get over it. She has suddenly just gotten really, really sweet. She laid up on the back of my chair last night while I watched TV. There's the omelet. Big reveal. Get a fork. Ready? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And watch. It just slides right out of there. Let's see. There it is. This mine is called Nordic Wear. I have it at Walmart for $7. And look at that omelet. Let me cut it in the middle so you can see. 
Oh my goodness. That looks so good. Okay, I'm going to get a cup of coffee, have my omelet. I hope y'all all have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.